Have you ever dreamt of a car engine that sips nothing but water? It might sound like the stuff of dreams, but hold on, because it's real. And it's causing waves that could ripple through the entire auto industry. For decades, the quest for a sustainable and efficient power source for cars has been an uphill battle. But, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, a game-changing water-powered engine has emerged as a challenger to the mighty gasoline engine. This technological marvel not only takes a swipe at the oil industry's crown, but also gives electric vehicles a run for their money. The most astonishing part? It might just hold the key to reducing pollution that's wrecked havoc by traditional vehicle emissions. Enter Alaydin Kasmi, a modern-day inventor with a thirst for innovation. Kwasmi took the water engine idea and ran with it, converting a local Peugeot 405 into a water-powered marvel. He drew inspiration from older water engines, added a dash of modernity, and created an engine that was more efficient, reliable, and simpler than its predecessors. The kicker? Kwasmi pulled off this feat during his spare time in his Tehran garage with no financial backing. Inside Kwasmi's water-powered engine lies a unique phenomenon. It's all about a reaction. Water splits into hydrogen and oxygen, generating the energy needed to power your ride. This process bears a resemblance to hydrogen combustion engines, but with a minor twist in the propellant used. The engine employs an HHO generator, where electrodes in a water-filled tank undergo electrolysis, turning H2O molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. This reaction, called fission, unleashes a colossal amount of energy, all while sidestepping the flammable gas issue. So, what are the benefits? This water-powered engine is the very definition of efficiency. Unlike traditional gasoline engines, it covers more ground while sipping on a significantly smaller fuel source. You can expect a staggering 900 kilometers on just 6 liters of water under normal driving conditions. That's not just efficient, it's a cost-effective and eco-friendly game-changer. So, how does it outshine electric vehicles, you ask? Simple, no more planning pit stops for charging. While EVs make life convenient, road trips can still be a logistical headache. You've got to locate a charging station, wait around for a charge, and then hit the road again. With a water-powered car, you can top off your tank from practically anywhere, and it's quicker too. But that's not all. Replacing EV batteries can be wallet-wrecking, as those power packs make up a hefty chunk of the car's cost. Plus, the battery replacement process is complex and often requires a skilled technician, driving up costs further. Then there's the hydrogen-powered engine, which, apart from being less potent than other engines, poses its own set of risks. Hydrogen is a volatile element, demanding extensive safety measures to ensure these cars hit the road safely. Unlike gasoline engines, water engines, and electric vehicles, at the heart of this innovation lies an engine that's not only efficient, but also environmentally friendly. With this engine under your car's hood, you can kiss gas stations goodbye and pave the way for a greener, cleaner future. When this powerhouse hits the market, it could send shockwaves through the electric vehicle industry. Now, let's rewind a bit and explore the rocky road that led to this watery wonder. Early attempts at water-powered engines left a lot to be desired. They struggled to churn out the necessary power and weren't too kind to your wallet either. Some promising projects got folks all hyped up, but for reasons that remain as mysterious as the Bermuda Triangle, they vanished into thin air, leaving us all scratching our heads. The closest we got to renewable vehicles, apart from electric cars, was hydrogen-powered fuel cells. Yet, they couldn't quite match the electric surge in terms of power. Now, you might wonder why this revolutionary engine isn't available on the market yet. Well, 
it's got a lot to do with funding. Most manufacturers aren't ready to give fossil fuels the boot in favor of water-powered engines. Smaller companies that dare to innovate struggle to secure the investment needed to propel their research. Sadly, their groundbreaking work often goes unnoticed by industry giants who show little interest in advancing the technology for the greater good. It's a tantalizing conspiracy that seems to suggest that the big players might not want water-powered engines to hit the road as they could threaten their own profits. A man named Stanley Allen Mayer, the brain behind a water-powered car, faced threats from the auto and oil industries. Allegedly, they even tried to bribe him into destroying his research and engine. As time rolled on, Mayer met an untimely demise during a meeting about his engine. What's more, everything in his garage mysteriously vanished after his death, tools and all. This raises unsettling questions about whether he was targeted by industries opposing his creation for their own gain. Another scientist, Aga Wakar Ahmed, hailing from Pakistan, faced opposition when he invented a similar engine. Atar Rahman, the then Minister of Science and Technology, dismissed his work, citing violations of the laws of energy conservation. This incident underscores the suspicion that higher authorities may not be keen on letting such engines disrupt the status quo. So what's your take on water-powered engines? Do they hold the key to a greener automotive future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this dive into the world of water-fueled marvels, don't forget to rev up that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more automotive adventures.